Hey guys and gals, welcome to the first tutorial in this tutorial series. And this tutorial series is going to be all about computer programming using the Java programming language. For those of you that haven't programmed before, this might sound a bit complicated, but learning to program isn't too complicated really. It just uh, considers memorizing um, some rules and some syntax of each language and then learning how to apply that. And applying it comes with practice, but it's fun uh, to practice programming. And uh, I'll guide you through uh, learning how to program in this series of tutorials. Uh, of course, we cannot take uh, learning um, programming in these tutorials very far, because programming mostly is about practice and learning by yourself. So reading books, making programs, and getting challenges to your skills will be vital in learning programming if you wish to do so. So basically what we're going to do in this series of tutorials is learning uh, how to learn by yourself programming. So the basics of Java, making a few applications using some APIs, some external APIs, which can be very useful in the future, and that sort of stuff. We won't get really into the very advanced topics of Java. This will only be um, a, an introduction to Java. So the first thing we're going to go to is what programming is. Um, so programming uh, mainly uh, is about telling the computer what to do and how to do it. For example, this uh, window you see here, which is named Java-Eclipse, um, is a computer program. And obviously someone uh, told this tab here to be here and these buttons to be here and these tabs to be dockable or not and all these menus and then when we start programming it has been a t the programming tell the program what to do and when to do it and um, so that's what programming is all about and using a programming language mainly is about writing uh, statements uh, using the uh, programming language syntax and so in this series we'll learn uh, Java's syntax so first things first, let's learn how to use this fantastic program uh, in which we will program throughout the series. And a program like this one, which is called Eclipse, is called an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment. There are others around, such as JCreator or NetBeans, but we'll be using Eclipse just because I like it better than any other one. It's fast, simple and reliable. So the first thing we have to do in order to start programming in Java is first of all create a new Java project. And here we will save all of the, um, sorry about you didn't see that, all of the um, sub-programs uh, that comprise our entire program. And each project will usually be a single program. So don't try to use multiple projects, so, so, I mean a single project for multiple programs. It's better to create a project for each program you're making. Each project, however, can have multiple documents, and each document can hold a part of your program. And we'll get to the more technical aspect of multiple documents in the future. So let's um, call our project Hello World, and because we're going to be making the Hello World application. So leave everything as, as default and click Finish. So here we see our project in the package um, explorer and if we right click src and go to new class just move this so that you can see it we see that we are in hello world and then in the src folder the package is going to be the default package for now just know that a package is a subfolder inside this src folder so basically if you want to organize um, your classes we'll get to that to what it, each class is in a moment if you want to organize your classes better you can use multiple folders for your classes in your own program uh, what we want to get to is the name of a class and um, so we'll name this main and this main class and um, basically is going to be our only class in the program that's why I called it main and then we want to check this public static void main string uh, square brackets aux this will basically create this um, line of code in our program and and this is the first thing that is executed when we first run our program so if we click finish let me show you what I mean 
you see here we can see public class main and then we can see some curly braces and notice that everything inside the main uh, class which basically is our program for now and um, everything inside it is enclosed between these curly braces if we type something outside uh, the main class like for example um, and x it tells us an error you have to insert a curly brace to complete class body and um, if we write something outside a class it will tell us an error we have to write everything inside a class and in this case we're going to be writing inside the uh, class called main and then we've got this public static void main string args so what does that mean well first things first public it's basically m meaning that um, this uh, everything inside this method, inside this uh, block of code, uh, can be read by everyone in the world. That's more or less it. And then static uh, is something a bit more complicated. Basically, it means that this uh, section of the code lives within the class. And uh, I'll get to what that means in a later tutorial. Void means that this method here doesn't return a value and uh, main is the name of the method and these here are the parameters sorry about that the parameters of the method so basically uh, this is a method because it has these curly braces and the methods can return values so when you call a method when you actually try to use a method in a program you can then get what whatever value that method returned I'm gonna get to that with an example uh, in the f in future tutorials for now let's stick to this main method and not worry about what it means or what it does just know that when we press play here when we press run basically uh, everything we have here is going to be executed and so let's write uh, hello world to the screen first thing we want to write is system dot out and this means that we're going to be using the input output system console basically and we're going to be using a text console uh, for um, a text console to output the text we're going to be writing so system dot out meaning we're going to be using the output console for the system and then print ln And what print ln means, it means print something, and ln stands for line. So it's going to print a line, and the line is going to print, we specify between these um, brackets here. So we say hello world, and then we must end with a semicolon. So every uh, line of code, which is single line of code, for example, this public static void main, doesn't isn't a single line it's a block because it has these curly braces doesn't have to end with a semicolon single lines such as this one here do have to end with a semicolon and um, so now that we've got um, hello world printed to the output uh, system console let's press run and see what happens I have to save the resources basically uh, the class files and there we can see hello world in the screen so now that I'm approaching the time limit, let me just go over what we've seen today and then I uh, have to leave you guys. Basically we saw, uh, we learned what programming was in a very basic term and then we created a new Java project by going to Java project up here. We named it and we didn't do anything else. Then we right clicked the SRC folder and created a new Java class just like so. And then uh, leaving it in the default package, we gave it a name, in this case main. But when you're creating multiple document uh, programs, you will have different names for your classes. And then we just write system out print ln hello world to inside the main method. And the main method is what's going to run as we to run first when we press play. So basically we're running the main method and then it's saying print out hello world to the screen. And then we do that and there's nothing else. So we stop the program. That's basically what we saw today. I hope you learned something about Java. And in the next tutorial, um, we're going to be getting to uh, using some external libraries to enhance our productivity. And that sounds important, but it isn't really important. It's just a simpler way to program. So I'll have to leave you guys for now. And I'll see you in the next one.